Hello everyone. Welcome to this post. Here in this post, we would like to discuss regarding the moment of inertia of a ring about different axes. We know that moment of inertia is a physical quantity of rotatory motion which explains how easy it is or how difficult it is to rotate a body. So, basing on a concept of the integration, we can find a moment of inertia of any body assuming that we have followed that procedure and we have calculated the moment of inertia of a ring. This is the ring that we are taking into consideration. Let us imagine there is an axis passing to the center perpendicular to the plane. The dotted line is the way of saying that it is perpendicular to the plane. So, if the ring is having a mass m and having a radius r, if it is rotating about an axis passing to the center perpendicular to the plane. It can be identified that it can be determined that its moment of inertia is m r square, where is m is the m is the mass of the body and r is the radius of the ring. Now, if the same ring is rotating about a different axis, let us consider the ring same ring, but if the axis is like this, this axis is not passing to the center, but tangential to the ring, but that is also perpendicular to the plane. I know the moment of inertia about an axis passing to the center perpendicular to the plane, that could be also called like center of gravity as m r square. This value we know. Ig. Now, I would like to know the moment of inertia of the same ring about a parallel axis, where the distance between the two axes is nothing but the radius of the ring itself. Again, going to the integration process is a lengthy phenomena. We can find the moment of inertia of the same body about a parallel axis using a theorem called parallel axis theorem. According to that parallel axis theorem, according to parallel axis theorem. Moment of inertia of any body about an axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia of the same body about an axis passing to the center and the product of mass of the body with the square of the distance between the two axes of rotation. Now, I would like to use this formula to find the moment of inertia of the ring about a tangential axis in the perpendicular plane. That implies we can write I is equal to just now we have said as per the integration phenomena I z can be determined as m r square and there is another m r square. So, the total moment of inertia is nothing but equal to 2 m r square. Now, it is very clear that whenever the axis changes as the distance of the particles changes, moment of inertia of a given body also changes. We can in a broader level at a broader level express the moment of inertia as the product of mass of the body with the square of radius of gyration, where radius of gyration is the effective distance of the entire body from the axis of rotation. So, we can equate the moment of inertia of any body in terms of the moment of uh, inertia in terms of radius of gyration. So, I can say m k square in this case equal to 2 m r square that implies k value is equal to root 2 times of r. So, which tells you that the entire mass of this circular ring is focused at a distance of root 2 times of the radius from the axis of the rotation. Now, we can change the moment of inertia of this uh, ring and identify how does the moment of inertia changes. Say for example, we have seen earlier the general case, then we have seen about a particular case where the axis is uh, 
passing through tangent but not to the center. Now, let us imagine another situation where the ring, the circular ring, the same circular ring, let its mass is same, radius is same, but it is now rotating about any of its diameter. It is nothing but a axis passing through any of the diameter and you might have noticed that uh, this is not perpendicular to the plane, rather it is uh, axis is in the plane itself. Now, I want to calculate the moment of energy of this ring about this axis. Anyway, it is uh, very simple to understand that even if the axis of the same ring is like this, the diameter in the perpendicular plane, I would like to say moment of inertia about this axis and about this axis shall remain same because the body is a uniform body. And like I have said earlier, if you have taken the axis passing to center and perpendicular to the plane, the same first case that I have drawn, I can just refer it like this. So, this is nothing but the first case that I have referred, which is determined basing on integration phenomena as m r square. And you have to clearly understand that uh, this is something like x axis, this is something like y axis, this is something like z axis. All of them are passing to the same point, x and y are perpendicular to each other and it is in the same plane, but the z axis is also passing to the same point, but to the perpendicular plane. Now, as per the perpendicular axis theorem, it can be expressed as i z as equal to i x plus i y. These are in detail discussed in the previous posts. Please look into the previous posts if you are not familiar with the definitions of parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem. Now, I am going to solve this basing on the perpendicular axis theorem. So, I can write it like m r square and this is nothing but i diameter, this is also nothing but i diameter. That implies 2 into i times of the diameter is equal to m r square. So, moment of inertia of the ring about any of the diameter is nothing but equal to m r square divided by 2. This way we are using the perpendicular axis theorem to solve it. Now, let us imagine the scenario is same, the ring is same whose mass is same, radius is same, but the axis is a tangential axis to the diameter, but it is not like the second case that you have taken where it is in the perpendicular plane where, but here it is in the same plane. I want to calculate the moment of inertia of this. Just now, we have determined that moment of inertia of the ring about diameter passing to the center as a m r square by 2 are passing to center of gravity. Again, it is very clear that between them the distance is nothing but the radius of the ring. So, again we can apply the parallel axis theorem because these two axes are parallel to each other. So, I can say i equal to i g plus m r square. Here i g is moment of inertia of the ring about an axis passing to the center and that is nothing but equal to m r square by 2 because the axis through which we have to find the moment of inertia is in the plane and then m r square as per the given definition. So, it is nothing but equal to 3 by 2 m r square. So, you might have noticed that every time the body is same, its mass is same, its radius is same and whenever axis is changed, moment of inertia changes. So, moment of inertia is a physical quantity which changes with the axis of rotation and basing on the value of the moment of inertia, we can identify how easy it is or how difficult it is to put a body in rotatory motion and you need to apply the respective torques to move the body.